This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to make a beautiful website. Got some friends this morning. Honestly, when you live alone and you see something else that's alive in close proximity, it automatically becomes your friend. What's the cracker? He has taken a wee nap. Good morning, good day, good evening to you, my loves. Happy Libra season, bitches. The red splotchiness on my skin is showing up. Let's just work with it. I think I might be having a mild reaction to something. I don't know what. I'm even gonna bother trying to cover it. I'm just gonna let it go down. I know, I know, I took a three week break. Life happens that way sometimes. I have actually filmed a lot over the last two and a half weeks. So everything you're about to see is all of those clips. Lol, I was gonna do this blush but I don't think I'm gonna need any today. So lips it is. Same brand, O Espresso. Shout out to my Italian girlies who already know. I mean, usually we come on here, we do a bit of like a self growth segment, self discovery. I think this week we're just gonna be keeping it simple. Been really grateful for the last couple of weeks. I've been working a lot. I've had a lot of fun recently as well. But you're obviously gonna come along for gallivanting around New York City. The reason why I was just not picking up the camera to kind of speak about anything at depth is because my mind has just been taken up. The suffering that's going on in the world and I don't want this to be like a downer energy vibe but I think it's important to acknowledge be Pakistan, whether it be the free Iran movement. A massive cry about that last night. Ooh, don't get emotional. As I'm sure you guys experience as well, you know, you spend all day on social media scrolling, scrolling, scrolling and it's just such an emotional minefield of like cute pet and then like natural disaster and then fashion video so i understand before getting into the frivolities of this video that i'm about to show that are truly like highlights of my life if any of you are personally connected to anything that's going on right now especially anyone affected or touched by iran which we all should be i wanted to come on and say i support and i'm with you in spirit and not just in spirit but i've also been putting some of my earnings this month towards these various causes. I'm gonna include some resources in the description below that I would implore you to check out. Just links for education, donation, but especially with the free Iran movement, I just wanna say like a big part of that is just resharing on social media. Like they just want um, their voices amplified. The absolute bare minimum that we can do for our sisters, like very minimal coverage on it. There's an internet blackout over there. So have the conversations, show up to protest. These things actually do make a difference. Enjoy um, the vlog. I have lots of cute outfits in this one and I will see you at the end. in Manhattan as you've probably guessed um, I'm having such a nice day already I met Lizzie for a coffee I've got two events and right now I'm just waiting to meet uh, Verona who is an actual Irish superstar right now secondhand huns on Instagram she's like really known for her street style lives in Sweden you like vintage vintage styling she is your gal she's so amazing and she's doing really amazing things and it's my first time seeing her in real life we were chatting over the pandemic um but she's blown up so much since i didn't get any vlog footage i always do this when i meet people that i love i just get so into chatting that i don't vlog and we actually vlogged a little bit for verona's vlog so you'll see me in that if you follow her really recommend you guys following her i think she's making a reel for vogue scandinavia or her own channels either way I was happy to be involved and included. We got it on the first take, I think. Oh my God, pivot. I'm gonna go to Elizabeth Street Garden. I've wanted to go to this garden for literal years. Basically like this oasis in the middle of the city that they're always trying to save because there's so many people that want to buy up the property and apparently it's very beautiful and I can see that it is 100% somewhere I want to disassociate in the future. What a little oasis in the middle of Little Italy. This is the sweetest thing ever. I'm probably ruining it with my commentary, but... I feel like the seat has my name on it. I was obsessed with the film Secret Garden growing up. I feel like I'm living my Secret Garden dream right now. God, not half easily pleased. What New Yorkers will do for a crumb of shrubbery? 
I didn't want to not talk you through my fit today because I absolutely loved it. I felt so comfortable. Some press events that I wanted to go to instead. I went to the Espresso makeup one today because I've been really liking their products. I've been using them every day. The long seven hours, that is why the hair is now tied up. Top is from Etsy. The trousers are from Source Unknown. As with the top, the top underneath. I did a lot of socializing today, a lot of walking around. Um, which is why I'm tired, but it also reminds me of like why I just can't do fashion week. I just don't have, like if I was to go out for one day at fashion week, I would literally need two days to recover. I feel like I spend so much mental energy just navigating Manhattan. Kind of hard to explain. I feel like anyone that lives in a big city, like in the city will know what I'm talking about. So you can imagine, I'm very glad to be home, back to my quiet Brooklyn neighborhood i don't quite have my life together enough apartment still is a bit like okay I, that's annoying oh my place is a mess but it's actually like really clean just trust just trust there is chaos around i know it's not that bad but you know when it's just like kind of looks like you have depression but i just had a look in the mirror and i thought this t-shirt that i'm wearing is an accurate depiction of the vibes right now i am not wearing any bra I'm in this dirty white baggy t-shirt with stains on it. I am coming at you with another outfit of the day. October, it's a gloomy one. I feel like the weather has officially turned. Summer is over. It's absolutely pissing rain and I've just realized I have no umbrella, but it's fine. Kind of combat the rainy day vibes. I have put on like a little, a little pop of color on the eyes. So kind of reflecting my good mood because I'm very excited. Meeting PJ, who is like an Irish podcaster, online personality. He is one half of I'm Grand Ma'am, if any of you listen to that. And his boyfriend, Jose. And we said we'd do like coffee or brunch. So we're going to Sunday in Brooklyn for brunch. And I'm maybe, if we're in the mood for coffee, gonna take him to Devotion. And I live, I live for his coffee reviews that he does on TikTok as well. This is my outfit while I'm waiting for my Uber. So weird digging out jeans after all this time, but yes, yes. leather jacket, white crop top, chunky necklace, mid rise vintage Levi's. My arse just owes vintage Levi's everything, but yeah. See you later. Look who I'm with. Hi. Absolute legends. Best Jose. talk guy to New York. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it started off very well with me making the wrong reservation. Yeah, I was like, how rude. But luckily, then we went to a different place. Yeah, we went to Jack's wife, Frida. A little basic, but you know, solid, solid meal. Kind of a 10, I think. No, wait, no, it's not. It's like seven. It's a, yeah, it's like the, a solid. The vibes were 10 out of 10. <laughs> we were holding the vibes yeah. for the whole restaurant. Yeah, well, um, that's killing me for carrying the vibes. <laughs> We are going to Devotion now though because I have to get PJ to try the best coffee. Are you going to do a review or we'll no? We'll do a review. I'll face we'll my man and we'll do a coffee. You too. Oh my god, I love your man so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, rainy day in Brooklyn. Best company. <laughs> <laughs> She's a city girl. <laughs> We're like talking to like Bridgie Torres now. <laughs> Guys, I am making mash for dinner. I've also got my carrots because you know, hormone balancing. I'm telling you if you want to switch up your mash routine and go for something a little bit more, I don't know, kind of rich in flavor, I would say, you know, a little bit of a bougie mash situation. I mean, you obviously have to start with the best butter. It's a must. The twist, the little something something is adding borsan soft cheese in. You guys know I'm like a borsan soft cheese stan. I want like a certain brand of something makes you feel a kind of way. I feel like when I eat borsan, I'm transported to being a chic French girl in the French countryside, minding my own business. What is not very French is my portion sizes. <laughs> I did a little bit of the garlic and herb and a little bit of the shallot and chive because I'm being peak Libra and cannot make a decision for my life. I like to operate on a best of both worlds plane of existence. Like I wish you could taste this through the screen. And yes, I'm mashing with a spoon. Like don't at me. That's just the way today is going. Just as is, like you don't need to add any extra milk or anything unless you want it more 
kind of wet, but I don't know, good Irish mash is like this consistency to me. A lower body workout for you that's really going to work at your glutes. Squeeze through your right glute as you lift your leg to the side. Four day weeks are fantastic. Great, Kelsey's on this call. I love Kelsey. Another call done. I've had a lot of these this week, but generally, when a lot of the times when you get signed onto a campaign job, like an Instagram job, TikTok, whatever, um, you hop on a call to meet with the brand and just, I don't know, it's just kind of like behind the scenes stuff I thought you might like to know, but. Yeah, you just kind of discuss anything, ask any questions about how they want the content executed. You're all still operating on Zoom time. I feel like I haven't had to go on Zoom for so long. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited about work at the moment. I feel like after the summer, things always pick up a little bit. And I just love getting a brief. My mind always just like swirls with ideas about how I'm going to execute it. I genuinely love my job. So I finally invested three minutes of my life uh, well spent learning how to keep flowers alive a little longer because I feel like every time I buy expensive vase flowers they die on me so quick. I learned in that video, re-clean the vase like right before you use it. Peel off the leaves that are kind of halfway down the stem. She said lukewarm or hot water to make them stand up straight. A tablespoon of sugar as flower food. One tablespoon of white vinegar also to help bacteria not grow. And as always, stems at a 45 degree angle love this alvar alto vase but i'm always quite intimidated to style flowers in it i never really know how to let them lie but i think less is more not gonna lie the placement really stressed me out but i think i think we're on to something went for the tilt to one side in the vase and actually this might be my favorite arrangement yet so testing out my new little practice situation as well use this dining table for something because i don't be doing much eating on it but i have my decks put away for ages just with all the traveling and stuff that i was doing um and subletters i have i had it kind of put away for security but um i got some new speakers and thought that i would kind of give it the setup it deserves but hopefully by this winter i'll get back in the swing of practicing and maybe i don't know record a set or something for you guys got ready in record time like i think something like 20 minutes so i even have time to show you what i'm doing so yes outfit wise i was right the trousers are not low-waisted which makes me feel like i have to go and buy some low-waisted trousers now and I definitely do not need to be doing any more shopping. Maybe I'll sell these. Actually, no, I won't because these are a great pair of black trousers. There and other stories, they always do a kind of a wide leg trouser like this. So I have to go for a low heel, but these are my little thrifted Prada heels from Thread Up. The Marimekko bag, which I think as well is just, it's this beautiful, dark, earthy purple. The silhouette of it is very in style with the outfit and it kind of just adds, it's almost like a part of the outfit anytime I wear this bag. Yes, hope you enjoy this little classy outfit for me. Suit transparency since I have so much room in my bag which is a luxury I don't always have. I think I'm gonna like wear either these sandals or my New Balance into the city. Because as low as they are, like you think these would be really sturdy, they're actually not. They're quite like rocky. Fancy, kind of looks a bit like Bon Marche in Paris. Just been reminded of how awkward it is walking into these things by yourself. How pissy someone I know. We just love water in a wine glass. I'm still off alcohol. I'm almost at a month. Just a little challenge for myself. Got a couple more days to go.
them back. This is one I've heard a lot of hype about, but I've never smelled their scents, but they're very, very fancy bougie perfumery. It's only just launching in the US, but it's been in Europe for a while. But this was my favorite scent out of all of them. To an honest picture, I was literally standing at a table by myself um, my age was very evident. There was a lot of like new generation TikTokers and honestly like I don't know with all of the accents when younger Americans are all in a room together. It feels like you're in an episode of Gossip Girl. It's wild. When I was about to leave and call it a day I actually bumped into lots of like content creator friends that are roughly my age and and um, that I hadn't seen since like pre-pandemic like Crystal Bick Serena Go. So it was just nice to like properly get a warm welcome from them. They gave me such a big hug. I must get sick of me like starting the vlog here. But uh, I have nothing to say other than I really like my simple face today. You know when your makeup just goes on some days better than others? The only thing I did differently today was I used the Shiseido Ultimune serum mixed in with my Peter Thomas Roth potency vitamin C and I think like the texture of that is a bit not silicone-y but I don't know I just feel like my makeup went on nicer. This has been like the fourth day in a row with more rain tomorrow predicted where it's just been like the pits like wet 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 weather you know, like when the weather is like this it just makes me feel like i'm back in ireland it's kind of like comforting anyway uh makeup is on outfits are prepped i'm shooting an outfit reel today just i think four outfits four things kind of inspired by fashion week obviously i'm a bit allergic to fashion week but i love like the actual street style and what people are wearing so i'm filming a reel based on like what i would have worn so that's what we're doing. I feel like this hair and makeup always goes with everything. However, I am feeling very, very bloated because my period is about to drop its new album. The camera is a little bit more forgiving. The light's actually pretty bad today. So I think I'm gonna have to shoot either just directly straight back. Anyway, I was just kind of ruminating. Here's the thing. I am so old that I've literally been here for um, and actually a lot of my friends have been like present for I guess the rise of the influencer or the content creator or whatever you want to call it genuinely have been a part of it from the very start like, as soon as fashion bloggers were a thing like I was out taking photos and posting on lookbook trying to perfect my skills get better equipment better cameras just do the absolute most like and the thing that keeps me interested about this industry and keeps me in it is how people consume content and fashion and beauty is always changing it keeps me very stimulated since tiktok's been out for the last two years i've noticed such a change i literally had to go from becoming like a professional photographer literally going backwards and making the quality more shite i don't mean like the actual contents of what i'm making is shite like if it's a story i'm like if it's a brand deal like i'm still going to spend a lot of time thinking about how I convey that whole energy that's kind of come from TikTok, that very like undone, unperfect, messy bedroom, unfiltered, not too try hard um, energy has kind of like become an aesthetic in itself and it's kind of what brands want. People receive content that has been shot on an iPhone well and I feel like brands are understanding that that kind of content look actually performs better. than something where you've like hired a professional photographer and you made it look like it came out of a magazine. Like no one wants that anymore. No one wants super filtered. So bloody convenient. I'm not gonna lie, like being able to shoot everything on my phone. Also, I guess you're getting a preview of one of the outfits. This is the plainest outfit of all of them. It's the most reserved. Anyway, I need to shut up before I lose all daylight. But if you want to see the other outfits, it should already be up on Instagram.
guys, I'm so excited for cozy clothes. Long sleeve tops are my favorite. Okay, so, um, oh no, will I have to go change it? My camera hates when I wear black. Marginally better. I have returned from my great quest to collect my packages. Got myself a Duncan on the way. Got back a few minutes ago, but I went in and Dyson air wrapped my hair because guys, the entire way, like I tried to take a few selfies on the way because it's the first time it's been sunny in days. Like when I say every New Yorker right now is hooking the vitamin D to their veins after six days straight of like darkness and rain, hair just did not air dry well. And it was kind of the cherry on top because I'm on day like, like day too properly of being on my period like two two and a half days always get that kind of dysmorphia always a day or two on my period where i look in the mirror and i'm like who who the f is that like i don't know her maybe a distant cousin i can get over like the feeling of being bloated or having like lots of water retention but it's the face that gets me it's like literally looking at a stranger even when i was filming the intro to this i was just like ew Ugh. you know those days where like the hair was not herring the face was not facing. Just ran into the bathroom and uh, air wrapped a few front pieces, but like, I don't even know what I did. It's like this weird Farrah faucet. Like I also put on lip liner just to feel something. But for the first time in years, I've switched up my lip liner. I mentioned recently that Makeup Forever Aqualip 3C, like my go-to lip liner that I wear with Glossier like in every video, like the Gen G and like, was being discontinued because one of you told me it was. And then someone else told me it wasn't, but I haven't seen it in any Sephora recently. So I got a different makeup for everyone, the kind of wooden style in Wherever Walnut, which is a popular one as well. And I will say, I think it's actually trumped 3C. I think this is my new favorite lip liner. After I filmed most of those clips, I actually had the most lovely week off. I had visitors for the first time in years. Oh my goodness, like everyone came to visit me the first year I lived in New York, they all thought I was gonna be here for a year. And then I've had no visitors since, and I've been here for seven years. A situation where I've actually hosted people, so you can imagine, I've had like a couple that's in our friendship group. My boyfriend, the four of us all like, housed up in here close quarters but it was such good crack i've been working so hard in the run-up to it i actually did a month off of alcohol as well in the run-up to it and definitely let off some steam once they got here we all went to the jamie xx concert sadly he was not as good as he was at primavera i feel like avalon emerson and the two hour back-to-back -back set with floating points and Fortet really, they just outshone him. They just outshone him. And then we went to basement in Brooklyn afterwards. Had a few days um, with just my boyfriend. So that was so nice. Then after that, things honestly just went downhill. After they all left, like going from four people to two people, then no one was just like, I was so like dead inside. Just started feeling better. Then I pulled my groin. Feeling better today, the sun's out. I feel like we're turning a new leaf. But yeah, I also got my period a few days ago. So it's been, it's been a bit of an uphill battle. But nothing, nothing a Dyson Air app can't fix. Or some new bits. I actually did treat myself because you know, birthday month and all. You know, I want to open this one first. Ah, got myself uh, a new mug, seeing as I'm drinking so much tea lately. <laughs> Investing in my work setup. Should I say my lazy girl work setup? A lap, laptop tray. Oh! Weak. Why did I not get this years ago? And then this is what I would consider a gift to myself. It came in a nicer box, but evidently not. Oh my God. Speechless. Myself, some overheads. Oh my God, can you cope? So why the hell are headphones so expensive? I went for this style because I honestly thought they looked like alien headphones. I just didn't want to do the Apple ones. They're Bluetooth, cordless, obviously. And I feel like, guys, they're going to open a lot of um, doors that were not open for me before. You have seen me wear these overheads before. Um, they're actually Pioneer DJ ones from my DJ deck. The issue is they come with a big wire because they're obviously from my deck. So it is, but I have like an aux adapter that basically like enables this to be connected to my phone. Now I do actually use them. I just take the wire out when I'm taking like an Instagram photo or whatever, cause I just don't want like this hanging down. I love the look and style of these. I do think they come in Bluetooth. Here's the thing, I probably would not have dropped that much money 
on overhead earphones because it's not like a need, it's a want. But my AirPods, which I've been using for years, just like they just always fall out of my ear. I've changed the rubbers, I've gone to the smallest size, but like I never really use them when I'm walking because they'll just randomly fall out of my ear, like no warning. And recently my AirPod Pros, like one of them has just been giving up the ghost. So, so not only is it kind of like a stylish accessory, let's be real, but it's also a practical thing for me because I've never been able to even work out with headphones. This is my favorite kind of treat. This is a treat bought with a gift card. I did some work for B&H a few years ago and they paid me in a gift card. Being the very practical person I am, I'm like, no, I won't treat myself. I'll save it for like when my vlog camera breaks. But it's been like two, two and a half years and I still haven't used it. So yeah, this is what I spent the voucher on. <laughs> Love music, so I am so excited. My boyfriend actually has Bose over years and like the sound's insane. Also, this came, this is actually my boyfriend's Christmas present, but I'm not really too worried about him seeing this vlog beforehand hopefully he won't taking it out of the box but i'll put a picture on screen this is the ikea turntable record player it just came out you can get it online i was actually really shocked that i was able to get it online one of those like design collabs but it's a really beautifully designed record player it's all black and yeah if you're like us and you're looking to get into hi-fi and records there's only like 160 dollars i think bearing in mind there is a built-in amplifier as well i think it's one of those like ikea design collabs that's going to age really well like it's going to be like a vintage piece in the future so get your hands on it shout out to our monthly sponsors squarespace for sponsoring this video now i'm sure you're all familiar but if you're not or you're new or you're just recently in need of a website squarespace has your back is your all-in-one platform for all things website related you can choose your website name there and then move on to choosing one of their beautifully curated templates that'll give you some inspiration for your website they're all categorized if you're looking to start your own online store like an e-commerce shop an online portfolio to display your work or just have people find you or even a blog blogs are still kicking whatever you need a website for squarespace is the place to do it that squarespace wants you and your website to thrive they have lots of extra features to help monetize areas of your website such as members only content as well as incredible 24 7 support to help you along the way almost every month i hit my targets for squarespace which means you guys are using my code and my two-week free trial which you can find at squarespace.com slash tarmer try it for yourself and if you want to push your site live you can always use the code tarmer at any time for 10 percent off your future billing thank you to squarespace and thank you for joining me for another week and choosing to spend your time with me thank you appreciate you and i will see you all in the next video Bye. <laughs>